Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my video series, Good or Trash. And we just pulled the Dark Asura. Uh, really lucky. Yeah, pulled it on my LD only account, so that's even better. Uh, but we wanted to see how this guy could work. Yeah, he's a four star monster, so you're not uh, expecting a ton from a four star, especially after a unit's just released. But uh, I think he has some potential as is. So let's take a look at how, what his skills are. So first skill is attacks three times, attacks a fourth time if their attack power is higher than the enemy. Uh, and has a 15% chance with each hit to leave a branding effect. So that's pretty nice. And uh, I don't have him fully skilled. The harmful effect rate goes up by another 15%. Uh, when, once he's fully skilled. So that's a 30% chance. Three to four hits. It's a pretty good chance he's going to leave a branding effect. So I like that skill. Uh, God's Weapon is his second skill. Attacks all enemies two to four times. And inf inflicts continuous damage for two turns with a 50% chance. Once it's fully skilled up, it goes up to 70%. So that's a pretty good chance. Two to four times. So he's going to leave two to four dots on pretty much everybody uh, and that'll be better once the cooldown time is done but I'm gonna be skilling him up through the skill up event and I don't have enough points yet and then he has a passive if his HP is higher than 50% then he automatically goes into threat state and then when he's attacked he counterattacks with the number of attacks he gets hit with and uh, deals damage proportionate to his max HP and has a 30% chance to decrease the enemy's defense. And uh, I got two skill ups into this. So he actually has a 50% chance to decrease defense. And if somebody hits him with multi hits, he's going to have a 50% chance multiple times. Um, so his skill set looks pretty good. Uh, this is how I ruined him. So he needs high HP since his uh, passive is. Damage is based off max HP. He needs high attack to get that extra hit on skill one. Uh, and then he's going to be putting a threat state on himself all the time. So he needs high defense, high resistance. Uh, and then you want that threat state on him as often as possible. So having good speed, so he's constantly refreshing that threat, threat state is good. And of course, with needing all those stats, I at least got him at 100% resistance and 54% accuracy to have a pretty decent chance to land his brand, his dots, and his defense break. There's so many ways you can ruin this guy. I think violent would be option. Uh, I put him on despair, will, because first he's going to be getting hit a lot, and so hopefully the will will keep any... Uh, debuffs off of him. Uh, I put him on despair because his AOE skill too. Uh, violent could be an option. I think uh, vampire might even be an option since his threat state only activates when his HP is above 50%. So if you're putting him on vampire, he's going to be constantly healed more often. And fatal might even be an option to give him a really high attack. Uh, to do more damage and to get that extra hit on skill one so i think there's a lot of different ways you can ruin this guy swift could even be an option if you have a really fast swift rune set that has high attack high resistance so maybe you've got those swift runes that rolled into resistance you're like when am i ever going to use that well this could be one of those chances so i'm gonna have to play around with multiple builds on him but i have less than two hours left on special league so I just wanted to get him built. So he's on speed, HP, attack. So therefore he has very low crit rate, low crit damage. Uh, there seems to be another two different ways that you could ruin him. You could build, build him like I have uh, so that you have really high resistance or you could build him as a damage dealer. So you can do speed, crit damage, HP or speed, crit damage, attack and he might do a lot more damage that way and I don't have time to test that but I wanted to see how he would do so my my thoughts was 
uh, since he's going to be getting hit a lot. So I thought that the resistance and HP would be more important than putting him on a damage dealing set. Uh, I briefly looked at Despair as a damage dealing set and I couldn't get anywhere near these numbers. I just don't have the runes for that on this LD only account. So we went with speed, speed, HP, attack. And so I went for resistance subs. Basically I went for as many stats as I could. This was actually a decent rune. Um, for a resistance type build. Uh, again, more resistance. Um, here's some speed, resistance, attack, accuracy. Really nice speed sub here. Speed, attack, accuracy, resistance. Uh, again, more of the same. I want to turn this crit rate into HP percent, but I don't have a grind for that, a gem for that right now. Uh, more accuracy, more HP. This crit damage can be turned into uh, attack percent to get his attack up higher. And I don't think I had a gem for that, otherwise I would have used it already. Yeah, no, so I'm waiting on a gem for that. These are pretty much done. Artifacts, I went for additional damage since he's doing so many attacks. And I don't have them built on uh, crit damage. So I went for additional damage additional damage if he gets an attack buff then that helps him out same with defense uh, counter attack damage is very important for him so i thought that was a good find uh, attack up additional damage additional damage i've been trying to convert but i think the conversion cost with this new update is ridiculous Three hundred thousand mana to convert one stat Ooh, look at that counterattack damage so that was a useful conversion i think so where is this guy going to be useful um so with these skills i think uh he is good for guild siege world guild battle and then he has some potential in uh, toa so he could do a lot of dots you put him on the stair he can stun stuff so help with cc uh, branding and defense break and anything that hits him. Uh, so I think he has some potential in TOA as well. Uh, might look at that later. He would actually be a really good setup for the water battle angel. If he went first and put all of his dots and maybe a stun or a defense break on the whole enemy team and then the water battle angel goes, she would just wipe him out. So um, he has some good potential. Um, I think he also has some good potential in Guild Siege Battle, uh, but that's not active right now. Really, the only place we can take him is Special League. We have an hour and 25 minutes left. We're gonna do. We're gonna look at this replay. This was the first battle I did with him. And basically, I wanted him to be part of a fast control team. So I've got um, Isabel and Walkers for speed leads, and I've got my. Uh, Kabia, and then the light joker is a strip so that Asura can do his stuff. So I'm faster. And then did some dots there, not as many as I would hope. And then we got a defense break. And you can see he, he uh, hit back and put a defense break on the water on Amusha. This unit has a really nice shield, and that's causing him a problem because he's not doing any damage. But once we get rid of her, and we use him to uh, do damage against the shield. Not much there, but did stun. And there we go. So now we have a defense break on a couple different units. The shields are gone. little bit of damage there now he's not built as a damage dealer so what you're hoping for is the dots will work things down and then we're really seeing kind of a light joker spotlight there but there he got his brand in and then killed off the unit so um, his first special league match was a win yeah they're faster so they're gonna get two attacks this might not work out so well <laughs>
At least they don't have an attack buff for Cocky. Otherwise, he would just destroy everything. Um, okay, so we're in threat state. We're going to see how many people we can stun here. We've got two stuns. That's good. Attack buff. We don't have a defense break on anybody. We're going to try to take out Cocky anyway. Almost took him out. Two stuns, that's not good. We got a hit back on him, but that didn't do much. Here comes Blade Slaughter. Ooh, we, so we we pro, we threat stated him and um, So can we kill? No, we cannot. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Um, so now he's below 50%, so he's not doing the threat state anymore. Um, maybe we should have gone after Cocky. Oh, and he got an additional turn. I think we're done here. So, you know, this is Special League. I don't have a good Special League team. That's why I'm in Challenger 2. I haven't really even done much at all in Special League this season. Um... Because all I have is a weak speed control team. That's all I've got. And they went with a crit rate lead when they have an Anamusha on the team. Okay. Um, but Garo's going to be a problem. Let's see if we can get somebody stunned here. Yes, we got Antara stunned and Vigor. Um... And that's kinky. So let's see if we can get stun kinky. There we go. Let's get some dots on everybody. Three, three dots on most people. And he got stunned by Garo. Let's try to get rid of Garo. There we go. Now, all of these guys are going to be annoying. And Taras is going to proc here soon. Let's get rid of Antares. There we go. Let's try to get a defense break on Vigor. Not, uh, well, we got a defense break on him. There, we got a stun. Perfect. Uh, let's go after Vigor. We got him stunned. That's really nice. Uh, let's get some more turns in. And I think Vigor's gone. Yep, Vigor's gone. Let's do big damage and increase cooldown time. Can we get a brand on? No. Um, and there we go. Victory. <laughs> so, this is just the beginning uh, of testing him out. He doesn't do damage the way I've built him. And I'm sure I'll eventually try him on a crit damage build. But uh, overall, I think he's a... He's a decent unit. He's gonna have to be. He's gonna have to have a little bit of setup. He's not a tremendously OP unit, but it's nice to have an LD4 that a lot of people don't have right now. I'm gonna have some fun with him in Special League when we go into the RTA next season. We're gonna look at putting him on more of a Bruiser team, Bruiser control team, and I think he'll do even better there. So, final verdict is he is good. He's not trash, but he he can do some stuff, and I think. Uh, he'll be in my lineup for a while. So hope you uh, liked seeing him. I know a lot of people don't have him right now. Uh, but when you get him, uh, take a look at what rune set you want to put him on and have some fun with him. So uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See ya.